think that as well something that I'm so pleased to see representatives here of the people of Palestine who have struggled for so long. It's a long, long time. <laughs> and, and we must never be afraid and we must encourage young people when they're speaking about rights, that rights have no borders. And rights have no borders either in space or in time. And wherever people are being deprived of their rights, it just doesn't affect them, which it does most acutely, but it affects us all. And we're all lessened by a world that doesn't recognise rights. And very often, too often, it's a long, long time since just after Intifada won, when I remember visiting Palestine and so on. And I just think these are issues, the issues that are local are linked to issues that are national and they are linked to issues that are global. Over 750,000 of Palestinians from their homes, half of them, around half of them are, were women, violently uprooted from their home and forced into exile for the establishment of the Israeli state. In addition to the massacres, like the infamous slaughter uh, at Deir Yassin, Many Palestinian women and girls were raped and killed by Zionist Israeli colonial forces. A vicious warning to, to others that this was the fate that would be, befall those Palestinians who refused to leave their homes. Having taken over and uh, colonized 88% of the land of Palestine, in 1967, Israel occupied the rest, the West Bank and Gaza.